But basically, I'm so honored to be here today to meet with all of you and Men Having Babies. Men Having Babies is an amazing organization that has given us the opportunity to connect with, with uh, men like you who want to have children and don't know the next steps on how to go about that. So you've heard a lot, uh, and I'll, I'll allow Ashley to, uh, to translate, or I'm sorry, great, I'll wait for she's ready to do it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so Men Having Babies allows us the opportunity to connect with you and, and, and help you navigate this very challenging process to help it, make, help it uh, be as easy a process as possible. 对，同性呢，不管是男同志还是女同志，在美国这边，我们的生育的部分呢，这个是在我们美国是非常的成功的。所以，待会那个 Doctor s h a m o n k i 呢，他会帮你介绍这个大致上面的流程，然后还有这些医疗上面上面的这些技术。谢谢。So you've all heard about the, the various steps in the process. And this is just a, a quick example of how do you, you're together and you want to have that baby. What are the steps involved in having that baby? How do you go from point A to point B? 啊，要介绍就是就是可能你们单身或者是有有伴侣的，然后到你们有这个孩子的这个流程。So there are several steps. The first step really is the initial evaluation with us. We get to know you better, take a full history, get to know exactly what you want for your journey to build a family, and then we help accommodate for that. 那第一步呢，就是我们会做初期的评估，然后不管是身体健康讲报告，或者是心理上面的，或者是其他的经济或者是法律上面，我们会为你做提供这样子的法律咨询这样子。Then the next step is helping you find the appropriate, perfect donor, egg donor for you, as well as the perfect surrogate for you. And we work with multiple uh, egg donor agencies and surrogates, and we also have some in-house surrogates as well to try to make it as um, try to make as many options available available to you as possible. 那由于我们自己呢有自己的卵子银行，然后我们有自己的代母公司，所以呢我们会为你选择适合跟健康的代理人跟捐卵人。那这个在我们美国这边会通过所有的 FDA 的检验报告跟那个，所以一定是完全合法跟健康的。那也有律师的见证，所以这些在第二步的这个部分呢，我们会替你完成这样子的流程。Putting them directly into a surrogate, or testing them and freezing them, and then when you have an answer on those embryos, normal or not, then you can uh, do the embryo transfer. 那第三步呢，我们的就是精子跟卵子结合后成为胚胎。那成为胚胎的这个时候，你可以选择，因为也许你觉得这个时候你是适合有孩子，那我们会帮你植入到代母的。子宫里面去。那如果你觉得这个时候还不适合，你想要可能以后适当的时点才要让他就是生个孩子的话，那我们也可以先把你这个先冻起来。然后你们想要孩子的时候，我们再帮他解冻起来，植入代母的那个里面。OK。Then the embryo transfer is very critical. To maximize your chance of the best outcome, it needs to be done very carefully under visualization. We do ultrasound. We do the embryo transfer very carefully to make sure that the outcome is the best. And then once your surrogate is pregnant. We also have uh, things set in place to help, you know, with the surrogate in terms of your communication with the surrogate. Make sure everything goes smoothly from the beginning of the pregnancy all the way until delivery. You get the birth certificate and have your baby. 在这个怀孕的过程之中呢，我们会给你们这个孕母她所有的这个检查报告，甚至她做的这个超音波 baby 的检查、心跳声等等，我们都会用视讯或者是用 email 的方式。如果您没办法到美国全程陪同，或者是没办法去探视代孕母的时候呢，我们都会把每一步所有的流程跟你们报告得很清楚。那所以呢，你你会完全了解这个代母现在的状况。So your initial evaluation is very straightforward. We we can converse first over WeChat if that's easiest for you, and then at some point we'll need to check your sperm and check your blood work. And then once we do that and make sure everything is clear, there's one additional thing we do, which is called genetic carrier screening. We want to make sure to test your blood to make sure you're not carriers for mutations that are specifically the same as the egg donor, because then you have a one in four chance of having a baby with the disease. And so you'll know up front if you're a carrier of any mutations, and we make sure that you're not a carrier of the same mutation as the egg donor you ultimately choose. 嗨，在我们刚才所谓的那个评估里面呢，会了解到您的病史，也就是家族史，包括您个人跟其他长辈、直系血亲的这个部分。那第二步呢，还有这个身体检查，然后精液分析跟血液测试。但是最重要的是这一步，就是基因筛检。我们会为您筛检出有隐性基因的部分。那如果有的话，我们会告诉你说，这个机会将来跟你的捐卵人他的。
基这就是他们的卵子配合的时候，如果没有这样带源的话，那我们会帮您筛选出健康的胚胎，然后再植入到代母的身体里面去。And as I mentioned previously, we work with multiple egg donor agencies and uh, surrogacy agencies because we want you to have the best experience and we want you to have the most choices. The key is we work with reputable agencies so that they, we, it makes our job easier. When we see a surrogate, we want to make sure that they have been psychologically evaluated and then we do a physical evaluation. And we want to make sure that they have accurate uh, obstetric records so that when we actually finally choose that surrogate for you, we know that we're giving you the very best chance of a good outcome. 对我刚才前面有说过，我们有自己的卵子银行，然后也有自己的这个代母公司。那他们也是跟刚才一样，会通过所有健康跟 FDA 的标准的检验，然后呢，到时候保就是我们的胚胎最后面检验出来一定是合法又合格，然后又是健康的。And the same is the case with the egg donor. We make sure that we give you the best choices. You can either choose a set of frozen eggs and usually get a small batch. Or you can choose an egg donor to do IVF specifically for you, where you get many, many more eggs. Part of our consultations, we'll talk about those choices to try to tailor the, the, those choices that best uh, fits you. For example, if you want one, family, uh, one, one child, it may make more sense to buy a, a eight frozen eggs. If you want three children, it may make more sense to use a fresh egg donor. So we'll talk about those choices and make them specific to your journey. 对，我们这个卵子有不同的方案，有鲜卵也有冻卵。那鲜卵就是它新鲜的周期就先做，然后马上就是只就是做成胚胎。那冻卵就是我们已经找到适合合格的这个捐卵者呢，然后把它冻在我们医院的。这这些，呃，我们会提供你适合的选择，然后跟经济方案跟你们时间的那个，然后配合你们。对，然后最后面由你们做选择这样。So we also make sure that egg donors are screened genetically, just like you. We make sure that there's no overlap of the same mutation, and that's because if there is, there's a 25% chance of having a baby with the disease, and that's why we do that testing. 就是刚才我跟你讲哈，那个捐卵者我们会做这个染色体检查，如果还有隐性基因的基因，因为在医学上面，如果父亲也就是不管是父亲或者母亲有一半的几率，或者是另外一半有一半的几率，那这个小孩子带源到这个疾病的几率就是百分之二十五。所以我们在基因的筛检的过程中，一定会先把这个问题找出来，然后做成一个健康的胚胎这样子。So I spoke about choosing the right surrogate. We want to make sure there are certain guidelines that we follow. They're called ASRM guidelines. We follow those guidelines to make sure that we choose our surrogates and that they will give you the best chance of a good outcome. That means healthy deliveries, that they're not overweight, that they don't smoke or use any drugs, that they've been psychologically evaluated as well, so that we know that they're doing it for the right reasons and physically are able to give you the best chance. 呃，这部分就是我们刚才讲那个代理孕母的部分，我们也会从他的生理跟心理、精神上面确定他的这个是合格的，然后他的产科的复试。原则上，我们不会使用超过两次剖腹产或者是五次自然产的这个孕母来为您做这样的代理孕母。So once we get the eggs out, that's when we then fertilize them with your sperm, and this is what a, an ovary looks like that that has received the medicine to grow eggs. In each of these dark circles, there's a microscopic egg, and we're able to take those eggs out using a needle under, under anesthesia, uh, using ultrasound, we're able to, it's like a video game almost. We put a, uh, a needle through uh, the, the needle guide directly into the ovary, and with one poke, you could drain the fluid from each ovary. 这个是取卵的流程，就是那个刚才成熟的卵子，在那个我们照超音波可以看得出来。那医生会在成熟的时候取出适当的卵子，然后到时候我们是看鲜卵还是冻卵做不同的处理。And then those eggs are fertilized with your sperm, and this is what a mature egg looks like. It looks like just a big circle, just a plain old circle. And there's a little what's called a polar body. That's how you know it's ready for to be fertilized. And once you fertilize it, usually we would inject your sperm directly into the egg. And this is what an embryo looks like. It's got the genetic material from the sperm and the egg. It's called a 2 p.m. embryo. That's the first day of fertilization, the day after the egg retrieval. Okay. And then, two days later, it has eight cells, typically. That's, this is a day three embryo. But our lab keeps growing those embryos out, because not every egg fertilizes, not every embryo grows out normally all the way to where it's going to give you a real chance of a baby. So we grow them out to the fifth or sixth day to what's called the blastocyst stage. 
And this is where there's an inner cell mass that becomes the baby and an outer rim of cells that becomes the placenta. 就是刚才今晚结合后变成胚胎，我们会一直观察到它第五天的时候，可以看到它形成一个是 baby 的这个，我们会做那个 DNA 的检验或筛检。Okay, so we use the latest cutting edge technology in our center, and we actually are early adopters of that cutting edge technology. For example, the latest freezing techniques, vitrification, we've been doing them since its inception back in 2011. Two thousand eleven. 我们从事这个检验呢，从 Two-cell-related。Yeah，就已经开始从事这样的工作。But just to make my point，not every egg becomes an embryo，not every embryo grows out normally。This is normal，okay？Unlike，we're not like mice，mice you get eight eggs，you get eight embryos，and eight babies。
knowing that I can help other, build other families is very rewarding to me because I know how rewarding it is to have children and have, have a wonderful family and seeing the, the generations enjoy those families. So we strongly believe that reproduction is a right for every single person, regardless of, of uh, sexual orientation, uh, regardless of ethnic background. It makes no difference to us. We help people have babies. That is our goal. It's our passion. 我们认为，就是拥有孩子是每一个人的权利，不论你是单身，不论你是同性恋，或者是不论你是男的，或是不论你是女的，那你都有权利追求拥有自己的孩子，创造自己幸福美满的家庭。这就是我们 FSES 追求的目标。这样子。We have outstanding service. We have a huge team, and we see a lot of volume of patients, but we still treat every single person like family. And there are four doctors at our center. And you know we have a big ten-member team that deals with third-party and international. So we're an extremely experienced center, but we try to make it easy and make it feel like a family environment for each and every one of our patients. 刚才介绍的是我们在美国的医生团队跟那个护理师。那我们在所有就是我刚才讲，都是在亚洲或者是在美洲，甚至在欧洲呢，在大陆、日本，我们都有自己的团队，超过十个我们自己的据点。那所以如果有需要服务的话，都可以跟我们联络，然后可以留下你们的资料，或者是跟我们加微信号或是 Line。然后，如果有任何会后有任何的问题，因为这一两天刚好是医生特地赶来台北，然后如果有需要的话，可以跟他。我刚才有，哎，这边我们在二五零二室这边有提供智商，到晚上的八点，如果有需要的话，可以到二五零二室，就是 W Hotel 二五零二室来跟小梦琪医生做一对一的智商。And we're ideally located in Southern California. We have three offices. All in in Los Angeles to make it most convenient for you and your surrogates. 对，我们在洛杉矶呢有三个医院跟办公室这样子。So, our outcomes are exceptional. We have a world-class lab with a world-renowned uh, embryologist. Oh. And I'm, I'm being asked to finish, so I'm just going to quickly show you one last thing. And this is our success rates, as reported by SART.org. And this is very, very important. SART <coughs> vets each clinic and only allows clinics to report real numbers. So if don't go to the CDC. Go to SART. If a clinic only reports to the CDC, be very careful about that clinic. because. They can easily give numbers that are not true. SART forces you to input your data from the very beginning. And if you go to SART.org, S-A-R-T.org, and look at outcomes, you'll see that we're at the very top of all those outcomes. And clinics that say one thing, you'll see that their numbers are not nearly as good. So it's very important to do your homework before you choose a clinic. 我们在那个美国有自己的实验室，那所以我们的检验都是自己完成的。那我们的这个生育率呢，在美国的辅助生殖技术协会上面，二二零一六年的存活率呢，按照不同年纪这个已经是达到一个成功率，其实是非常好的。那如果你们有兴趣了解的话，到时候可以进一步来做这个前面的那个，这个是有确定过研究他们报告的。Thank you for taking the time to hear me speak, and I look forward to working with you. 欢迎会后留下来跟 Dr. Shamonki 做智商，或者是我刚才跟你们说在那个二五零二室也可以。那今天跟明天两天都 OK。对，谢谢你们，谢谢。